much needed expansion of Danville's transportation office building is now just one vote away. Yeah, city council expected to vote tonight to create a special projects budget in order to pay for that expansion. WSLS 10's Coulter Anstead has the story. The special projects budget is needed in order for the city to receive the grant money the city has been approved for for the project. Without it, the project is dead in the water. That's something the city's transportation director says the city cannot afford. Going all the way down. This empty parking lot next to the current transportation office is where a 4,400 square foot standalone building will be built. That is, of course, assuming city council agrees at their meeting tonight to create a special projects budget. Anytime you have a capital project, um, you can anticipate that the project might go over from one fiscal year to the next fiscal year. So you put the uh, major capital project budgets in separate special project budgets so that uh, you don't have to reappropriate funds at the end of the year. The project is expected to cost just over $1.3 million, with 96% of that coming from state and federal funds the city has already been approved for. We don't anticipate there being any issue uh, tonight. This is Brenda, our senior account clerk. The current building was built in 1986 and was only designed to house the city's transportation department. Now the building also houses Danville Public Schools Transportation Department and the Parks and Rec Department's Senior Transportation Services. I think it's going to be a better work environment that will support um, positive workforce retention, which is critical in providing service for uh, the citizens of Danville. One of the biggest problems is that drivers, administrative personnel, dispatchers, and maintenance workers all have to share a tiny office on the first floor. Her phone could be ringing at the same time that this lady's phone's ringing at the same time the radio is going. Plus, then you have drivers coming through. Another big problem is that there is no place to review video footage from buses. All of this will change with the new building. The school district's transportation department will get the current building all to itself, and the city's transportation department and the senior transportation service will move into the new building. Construction could start as early as next month. In Danville, Colt Durant's down to WSLS 10.